in this video I'm going to share with you how to test a new fuel pump because new fuel pumps they can be defective broken when delivered and that's a big job you remove the fuel tank pull the fuel pump out you're ready to install the new one but you better need to check make sure this new one is legit and it's a good fuel pump couple very simple tests will save you tons of time and money yeah let's get started and we're going to test the pump pump is a simple dc motor we'll test this and this is your sender unit which is telling you how much fuel left in a tank this is a potentiometer it will be the video how to identify bad fuel pump when it's still in the vehicle I check this video very helpful and that's a bad load side of the pump okay for the test we need a simple multimeter whatever you have you set your multimeter to continuity first we're going to test the pump motor see this uh, symbol the speaker just select that here we go we're good and we have our leads okay now as you can see here is a motor dc motor and uh, there's a two wires one is a power one is a ground and dc motor has a wire winding inside and electricity should flow if it's not open and you see those gray and black that are coming here and same gray gray and black and um, down to the connector at the back you see the gray and black usually those uh, two wires for the pump motor they're thicker and uh, for the fuel sender unit they're thinner and our black and gray because this pump is from ford f350 250 gasoline truck right and uh, if you have different vehicle colors will be different and will be different configuration but you always will have a two wires down to the electric pump motor you need to look the wiring diagram or if they have a different thickness as i said you just find those two okay we can test it straight from the connector there's are the two pins you identify those two wires for the electric motor to your pump and you touch those ones and see now is the circuit is open it's ol and we should see the buzz when electricity is flowing right you can test there and because we have a pump on a bench we can pull the connector from the pump over here don't pull the wire be careful and yeah there's a simple clip push it in Here we go, just uh, simple that, first this tap in and uh, pull it out. Don't pull the wire, just plastic connector. Okay, I'm trying to set my camera that this will be easy to see. There we go, I think that's better now. Okay, and as you can see, it's the same two pins. You know, attach and we should see that. Okay, and we see electricity is flowing right and uh, that means pump is good is not open and the DC motor is good to go okay second thing uh, we could read the resistance just, just avoid that buzz set your multimeter to just ohms okay we set two ohms and let's see what we have and resistance will vary from vehicle to vehicle on ford resistance will be around 20 25 ohms and let's see what we have 19 19.3 ohms that's good 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 here we go pump is good and we can install it all right let's put our connector back and read the resistance over here see what we got 
those same two wires might be a very bit okay all right all right let's see what resistance at the connector and it should be 19.3 i guess and yeah we have 19.3 good yeah that's a important test because you don't want to spend so much time and realize the pump is not good okay next we're going to test the sender unit we have a fuel pump and a sender unit for your fuel gauge in one unit and we just tested the fuel pump motor is good and make sure our fuel gauge will work and we don't have the problems with the fuel sender unit okay this is a simple potentiometer when this arm moves it will change the resistance and it will change the resistance and needle on your fuel gauge will move and you will see how much fuel left in your tank the float be careful not to bend this arm and we have our multimeter it's set to ohms the ohm symbol and uh, now we have two other wires blue and red it's coming from the potentiometer we can read straight from here or from the connector as well it's a little bit harder to get to those pins i will do it from the sender unit all right here we go we have our multimeter set up and we'll start from the very bottom when it's our fuel down low and uh, touching those two contact points at the fuel center potentiometer and okay here we go and my resistance okay give me a better uh, make sure it's touching Okay, I'm at 15 ohms and see I'm moving it up, moving up, up, up. My resistance is going up as well, 24. When I have a half a tank, I have 70 ohms and see it's going up, 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 up. And when my tank is right to the top, full, it's 150, no, even 161 ohms of resistance now we know our potentiometer is working and we'll have our fuel gauge at least we don't have any issue with the sender unit and we know this assembly is good and we can put it back on the truck and thank you so much guys for watching subscribe to the channel if you like it any questions drop them down in the comment section below i like to read them See you soon, take care, bye bye. The bonus footage and also you can supply the power to the electric motor or the pump, but be very careful not to short at those terminals, otherwise you can damage the pump. And uh, yeah, simple as that. If you see pump turning, that's good. And the uh, pump is good as well. Yeah, those uh, tests are always good to have done before you install it.